Hi there everyone. For today's lesson, you're going to learn about hierarchy of colors in relation to the energy of visible light. Alright, so let's uh, get to know the meaning of light and its energy. So light is composed of colors of different frequencies and wavelengths. Okay, so you have to understand this very much. Okay, the frequencies and wavelength. Okay, another characteristic of a light is that the arrangement of colors of light shows the order of the colors corresponding energy. So it means to say that light has frequencies, wavelength, and energy. All right, so please remember the following, okay, about the light, that it has uh, R, O, Y, G, V, I, V, or the Roy G, Viv, is the only part of the spectrum that can be seen by the naked eye. So uh, humans, okay, uh, so we can only see the uh, spectrum and the colors Roy G V. Okay, so the ray of light or the white light that passes through a prism is dispersed into the visible spectrum. So it means to say uh, that um, when we have the uh, spectrum, uh, it is the uh, scattered light okay, from the one source or one white light source. So the third is that uh, the red light is refracted the least, and purple light is refracted the most. So in uh, science, the term refracted is used, okay, or in uh, a regular conversation, we can say bent, okay, so, or bent. So we have the red, again, the most, or the least refract refracted light, while the uh, uh, most refracted light is the purple. Another thing that you have to remember is that red light has the lowest frequency and energy but the longest wavelength compared to other visible spectrum. Violet light has the highest frequency and energy but the shortest wavelength compared to other visible spectrum. If you're going to compare the uh, red light and the violet light, they are opposite. So take a look at the frequency. Red is lowest, while in terms of violet, the frequency is highest. In terms of uh, the wavelength, the red light is longest, while the violet is actually the shortest. This is an example of an illustration or showing, uh, for example, the uh, wavelengths of uh, the uh, colors and of course the uh, representative colors uh, for example here the red okay, is, has the longest wavelength okay? so as you can see that in compared to violet okay, below okay, which has the uh, shortest wavelength so uh, what we're going to compare here in this uh, topic uh, are the following first the uh, wavelength Okay, second is the frequency, and third is the energy of light. Yeah, as I've uh, mentioned to you okay, a while ago, that uh, the uh, lesson actually uh, will also give you ideas about uh, the uh, comparison of uh, wavelength, okay, with frequency, and uh, photon energy. Of course, the wavelength uh, is uh, measured in terms of the unit uh, nano nanometer, and uh, you have the frequency, it's in terahertz, and uh, the photon energy, which is, of course, the uh, unit of energy uh, known as uh, electron volt. So uh, the uh, range of uh, wavelength, okay, as you can see here, okay, it starts with uh, the violet in this uh, table. So uh, you have there the uh, least okay, for the wavelength and going down to the red, or actually they inverted this okay, in terms of the representation on, in this table. So the violet is, violet is at the top and red is at the bottom. And uh, you can uh, see that uh, the differences in uh, terms of the wavelength that as it uh, uh, goes uh, uh, down okay, uh, from the normal uh, rainbow color uh, colors. Okay, so you have uh, the red uh, has the, of um, course, uh, uh, longest a uh, wavelength in comparison to the violet which is, has the least of course in terms of the frequency as you can see in this table that uh, 
uh, the red has uh, the least also and uh, of course the uh, violet is going uh, of course uh, uh, down to violet okay, you can see that it's uh, having greater amount of frequency uh, in terms of the energy or uh, the electron volt okay, as you can see uh, in this table that the violet actually is, has the uh, of course, uh, greatest amount of energy uh, and compared uh, to other colors as it uh, moves down okay, or of course uh, in the normal um, presentation of the Roy G. Webb, or we have uh, the red as the having the least or uh, of course in, in terms of the violet it has the greatest energy so if uh, in, in all it means to say that in all of the uh, energy of colors uh, the violet is, has the greatest and uh, uh, blue has uh, 2.50 to uh, and ranging to uh, 2.75 and red okay that's going uh, up okay to the right above or I mean is you have 1.65 to 2 in this table uh, this uh, will be your guide in answering the questions okay, about the uh, wavelength of course uh, the index of refraction in uh, crown glass okay, or in a uh, of course uh, spectrum so colors of light and variation of refractive index so on the left as you uh, can read it that it's arranged from least to bent or uh, to the most bent okay. so you have here I okay, get the colors of the spectrum okay you have red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet and it has its their corresponding wavelength in nanometer nanometer and uh, index of refraction in uh, crown glass so uh, for example um, if you want to know which uh, color has the greatest refractive index okay, so you can see that it's the violet and the list opposite of course is the red so uh, in terms of uh, the uh, wavelength as you can see that here in this uh, table that red has the highest uh, wavelength okay, so as I've also mentioned again okay, during the uh, of course uh, explanation a while ago and uh, the uh, violet uh, has uh, the uh, uh, least of uh, wavelength okay, so uh, that's uh, actually the use of this table to compare the wavelength and the index of refraction of the colors in this example you can see an animated uh, kind of uh, refraction okay, or dispersion of uh, the uh, beam of light passing through the prism and uh, of course resulting into the rainbow color or the roigevif In this illustration, you're seeing is the real refraction in a real prism. So the dispersed color is the rainbow, and uh, it is the Roy G Viv or Roy G V I V. This is another picture or illustration of the uh, prism and the light. Of course, on the left, you'll see the uh, white light or the beam of light and uh, passing through the center, the glass prism. And of course, uh, on the right, uh, the uh, refracted uh, uh, light okay, composed of the rainbow or the Roy G. Viv or the Roy G. V. I. V. And uh, the topmost is the red. And next is orange. Okay, next is yellow. Uh, you have uh, the middle, the green. Okay, next is blue. Uh, second to the last is indigo and uh, of course the last one is violet now if you're going to ask if uh, the uh, black and white are co considered colors they are not colors okay so uh, why because uh, in science they are considered to be shades and uh, the uh, uh, white is uh, the presence of all the colors uh, while they are on the other hand the uh, black is the absence of all colors
Okay, next is uh, the following information I would like to share with you. So using the diagram and the electromagnetic spectrum, you can see that violet color has the shortest wavelength, but highest frequency and the greatest amount of energy. Take note, the uh, violet has the greatest amount of energy. Okay, in opposite, at the topmost of the uh, rainbow or the roid GVV, you have the red color. It has uh, the longest wavelength, lowest frequency, and the least amount of energy. So different, definitely, they are opposite. So uh, can you tell the relationship between frequency and wavelength of light? Yeah, to answer this question, uh, the, uh, of course, relationship of frequency okay, and uh, the wavelength is that uh, uh, for example, in uh, terms of the color violet, uh, the shortest uh, wavelength, okay, so of course, it's opposite, it has the highest frequency. Okay. And if you are going to look at uh, the red color, okay, so the long, it has the longest wavelength, okay. although it's the opposite, it has the lowest frequency. Alright, so that's the relationship. So it means they are inversely, um, they are inversely proportional to each other. The next question is, or the relationship between wavelength and the amount of energy. So let's go back to the color violet, wherein uh, if you notice that uh, the wavelength is shortest, okay, and uh, of course the, in terms of the energy, it has the greatest energy. Uh, on the opposite of that, okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, red color. So you have here the uh, wavelength as the longest. And uh, of course, it has the uh, least amount of energy. Okay, so that's the relationship between uh, the wavelength and the amount of energy. So uh, in conclusion, okay, for example, the red color so um, it is uh, the same okay, uh, that we can say inversely proportional so the longest wavelength okay however it is or it has okay the uh, amo least amount of energy and for the violet okay you can s see that uh, it has the shortest wavelength and inversely proportional to the uh, amount of energy because it has greatest amount of it so that's everything for this part. In terms of the uh, importance of light, okay, so I'd like to uh, share with you the following information that uh, the electromagnetic spectrum is important to uh, astronomers because uh, celestial objects emit waves in all the different regions of the spectrum. Visible light is a very small fraction of the visible spectrum. Additionally, aside from what I've mentioned a while ago, okay, that uh, astronomers uh, use of course, the uh, uh, spectrum of light okay, and uh, looking at the outer space. So we have here the first, okay, uh, cell phones use light to send and receive calls and messages. Second, uh, importance of light is that wireless routers use light to send pictures of your family on Facebook from the internet to your computer. Third, car radios uh, use light to receive uh, music from nearby, nearby radio stations. And the fourth, telescopes are light collectors and everything we know from Hubble is because of light. And fifth, we depend on electromagnetic radiation or the light to carry information to us from distant objects in space. Okay, so uh, let's focus uh, about uh, the light in the outer space because uh, this is one of the significant uh, of uh, the uh, light. So the uh, Hubble Space Telescope can view objects in more than just visible light, including ultraviolet, visible, and infrared light. So it means to say that the um, ultraviolet, uh, of course the infrared, are not visible. Uh, to our eyes or to our naked eyes and uh, 
uh, we only see the visible light or the rojiviv. So these are observations enable astronomers to determine certain physical characteristics of objects, such as their temperature, composition, and velocity. I right, to show to you the uh, Hubble Space Telescope okay, that uh, it actually receives the light okay, from uh, the outer space and uh, it is connected of course to uh, certain computers here okay, and this is used by NASA. Okay, so this is also uh, having this uh, communication antenna okay, so other parts of it like control and uh, pointing systems. Uh, instrument and uh, system base and the last one is actually powered by solar energy or solar array okay, for your um, additional information and so or uh, maybe uh, for uh, your study so you can uh, answer the following questions so first uh, can we separate the colors of light second uh, what colors are there in a white light and third, what is the instrument used for separating the colors from the light? That's all for today's lesson. Thank you very much.